sip one. Does it defeat the purpose if you brush your teeth and immediately drink coffee? Nope, it doesn't. <laughs> some oatmeal for breakfast. Tiara is using the AIS to try to figure out which boats are the whale watching boats. Triangles are just like normal sailboats or normal boats. You can use those as signs as to where the whales are. If so, they're not moving. If they're not moving. If they're moving, then they're just moving. But if they're staying still, then they're watching something. Okay, so good morning. If you haven't watched the past couple videos, make sure you go do so. But to give you a little brief, we are sailing in San Juan Islands, and today we're gonna show you exactly what it's like to live on a boat in Washington and San Juan Islands to be exact. This isn't our boat, this is a charter boat. We're chartering with San Juan Sailing. We hope you enjoyed coming with us on a road trip across the country, but it's time for us to get back on the water. Over the next few weeks, we're gonna bring you with us as we sail, explore, and enjoy getting back to boat life in the San Juan Islands. These videos are made possible by San Juan Sailing, our amazing patrons, and you. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Yeah, what are we doing right now? The first thing that's really different about being on a boat is we don't have a car, we have a dinghy. So in order to take our dock for the walk, we gotta go on a boat ride. We're on anchor right now. We're not at a dock. We're not at a moor on a mooring. Um, so we're just anchored out. So to get to land, we gotta take the dinghy. And then the next thing about living on a boat, our dinghy is our car, but obviously the dinghy can't go on land. So if we want to get anywhere, we are walking. Today's goal is the lighthouse. So I read in our cruising guide that this is called the treasure chest and one of the families here puts it on and you can buy a shirt and it's all on the honor system so I think you put it in the thing and they also have like kids coloring books and stuff. Um, and US funds and a self-addressed envelope or pay online. Oh, you can pay online. Isn't that so pretty? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. We'll go shopping on the way back. I'd like to support this little group. You guys, we are back in an area where it smells like Christmas. It smells so good. Like, imagine the, the day you go Christmas shopping in the Christmas tree stand or the Christmas tree farm. That is exactly what it smells like. It smells so good. That's it. <laughs> Scratch and snooze. It's beautiful. We got view of the water. We got some cool old trucks. And why not an airfield? It, uh, it's like a grass landing airstream basically an airport. All right guys, we just made it to the light station, turn point light station. The lighthouse was completed in 1893. It was in service for 81 years until the light was automated in 1974.
All right, it was a three mile hike here. So far, no orcas, but we're not giving up yet. And it was a pretty hike. We're just chilling on the patio of, this is probably the light, light keeper's quarters or something, right? Trying to see if we can spot any orcas. I have decided that if we don't see orcas on this trip, it is a-okay, because that means we have to come back. <laughs> and I would have run that. That's, that's where we just were. That's right where we are still, right off the point. Look at this, this is a bathroom, you guys. <laughs> they like decorated it. <laughs> that's so funny. So that's one of the coolest features about these boats is now the whole inside becomes the outside and vice versa. It just opens up the whole living space to the whole cockpit area and the whole saloon area. So this is one of our favorite features of these boats. No, not for you. Here you go. Wow, thank you. Mmm. Alright, took a little little rest, had some lunch. It's calm as can be out here. We're only going like what seven, eight miles? Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to sail to our next spot, which is Roche Harbor. Roche Harbor. But we're gonna go in Westcott Bay. Westcott Bay. We're going to Westcott Bay. Supposedly there's an oyster farm over there. Probably get some oysters from them. Sierra is looking up crab and oyster shellfish regulations around here. It seems like we can't get any shellfish around here on our own because of some sort of... Uh... There is a biotox enclosure. So the entire area of the San Juan Islands is in red on like the advisory map and it says closed due to biotoxins. And apparently the biotoxins don't get killed by cooking, so they just have to close the entire hatchery fishery. We'll probably just motor the whole way over there. So we just checked the uh, engines, made sure that um, they look good. There's no oil or coolant or anything underneath them. And we're going to start them up, let them warm up for five minutes, and then get on our way. Okay, we got our chart out again. We are going to be going from here all the way down through here. They say Roach Harbor is a really cool spot to go, but it, we've heard that it's super crowded. So I think what we're going to do is come through here and then hang out in Westcott Bay, which is supposed to be a more like nature-y, calm, quiet place. And then if we would like, we can just hike over here and check it out. We have done our finger navigation, go through. We have to be aware of this as we're coming out of here and then just pay very close attention to our markers as we come through here. But I think we got it. We're just motoring right now. Our anchorage is right on the other side of this point here, like two miles away. And it is just glassy calm out, just beautiful. So we got a couple ships in the background over here, one here, one way down there that passed us already. And we're doing our best to look for orcas. I think, I think if we're gonna see an orca, these are the prime conditions to be able to spot them in. Every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two.
single day. How pretty is this? Look at this. Okay, so it looks like we are going to anchor in Garrison Bay because um, it looked like Westcott didn't really have an area to go um, put the dinghy on and walk jetty. But here at Garrison, there's like this whole trail system. And in Westcott Bay, that oyster farm that we heard about is not is open currently, unfortunately, for some reason. We yeah. gotta look into that. I went on Google Map and I looked at the hours and it said they just updated it this week and every single day said close, 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 close. So it's probably the same thing, the water quality around here. Time to drop the anchor. All right, we're hooked. We're hooked good. We're here. <laughs> home sweet home. Home sweet home, home sweet home sweet home. You said what? Making our inside space back to normal because it's getting chilly. Billy wants to turn the heater back on. No. <laughs> Can't do that I with just, the door I just open. Want to hold in the heat so we don't have What you got cooking over there? You gotta film now when I'm struggling. <laughs> what are you struggling with? Boiling potatoes? My pot was too small. Oh no. And they weren't cooking, so I switched pots, but that means I also gotta switch handles. I'm really liking those nesting magma cookware set with two different handles. So you got some potatoes boiling. What else you got? I got some Brussels sprouts that are pretty much and you got some corn and steak. Oh, I gotta put the corn on and I gotta flip this steak. But how are you liking this galley down business? Because it's apparently that's a, well, not apparently, because that's a huge talking point in the catamaran world. When we... You gotta make it quick because I gotta flip the steak. Okay. Here, you, here, you hold this. Before being on sea winds, we had only ever been in one boat that was a galley down, and I hated it. I thought it felt like we were in a submarine. I knew if I were cooking in that galley that I would get so seasick. But when we got on these boats, I didn't feel that at all, and I don't feel like I'm like in a submarine. I feel like I'm right here in it, and I think it's the hatches and the windows that help. Like it's a very different feeling than when we were on that boat. And I'm glad I didn't like totally X them out of my mind right away because I had that idea in my head that I would hate it. I did it and I got on this, the first sea winds we looked at and I was like, okay, well this is not how I felt on that boat. So I think I could deal and I really like it. I feel like <laughs> the mess in the galley, like stays in the galley, but you're also not in the way of like, if Billy needed something, he's not like, he doesn't need to get back in here. I so know. he's not like moving around and like pushing me and getting in my and way And if I I'm need cooking. something from the fridge, you can just hand it to me from right up here. <laughs> it's way better than I ever thought when I first was in a galley down and I really like it. That was really long winded. But yeah, that was, that was long. <laughs> That's my answer. I'm tired. Let's show you guys what I got cooking out here. Oh yeah. Oh, Jetty wants to come, of course. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, just about done. Oh yeah, should we turn the heater on? You can't see our faces. I gotta show you guys something anyway. So one awesome thing about this boat up here in the San Juan Islands, which we're probably not gonna have on our boat, we never have. Hopefully we'll be staying in mostly tropical places. First off, it's amazing up here, even though it's not a tropical place. Second off, if we were going to be up here at all, in Pacific Northwest or even in New England, 
like in the spring or fall. One click. And that's the Webasto diesel heater they have on board. And it's amazing because it's relatively quiet, relatively fuel efficient, and it's like a nice dry heat that heats the boat. There's a vent right below our feet right here at the at the table and in the mornings and in the evenings when it gets pretty cool it's just amazing just to turn that button on it stays on for an hour and then it goes off but you could turn it back on again if you want i normally hate like heaters and i like it being cold outside and i like being bundled up i hate being like hot and hot i feel like i'm suffocating but it feels really nice in here and i think it's a requirement that every single boat in charter with this company with San Juan sailing has a heater there's a few different types of heaters and i don't have much experience with we don't have any experience with any of them but i do know like some heaters can produce like kind of more of a moist heat in the boat and it's like a, it makes the boat a little bit humid but this is a nice dry heat and it's just nice especially when it rains a little bit or just chilly and humid this is a good little comfortable thing so something we didn't touch on enough today is the fact that living on a boat traveling by boat is like absolutely amazing the islands that we were at today and yesterday are only accessible by boat and once you get there like that limits the population already and then once you get there like you're in the nature you're in nature and nobody else is really around and it's beautiful and it's quiet and you see otters and seals and all this stuff just compared to what we've been experiencing in the truck where there's pretty much always people everywhere even if you're in like small I mean, we've campsites. Been, we've been able to find spots where we can get away but the really neat spots where we're really by ourselves are kind of few and far between. They're cool as well, but I don't know, being back on a boat just makes it's... us really appreciate like how you can always find like these really neat anchorages. Right now, where we are right now, relatively close to other boats, we're still like, what, 10 times the distance you would be from another RV or camper in like a campground. I mean, not to compare and contrast that, but that's just what we've been experiencing lately, so it's on our minds. Also, I have to say that the people around here must be super nice and super trusting and just good people because we're seeing um, like that treasure chest place today. We're here, like take a shirt. It's on the honor system to pay for it. And like the area is so clean and the pit toilet today pit toilets are usually disgusting like people don't keep it clean they trash it at least that's what we've been experiencing in uh, the camper world there's one oh, there's one sign in every single pit toilet please don't throw trash in the or garbage oh. in the pit toilets because it makes it really hard to pump out and almost yes. all the pit toilets there's like a freaking water bottle right in the middle of the thing like it, a plastic like, water it bottle it just shows that like people don't care but around here like they were immaculate so it just shows that people care and i like it i like people around here <laughs> I don't like a lot of people, but you people have, around here seem pretty cool. Yeah, but you haven't met any. <laughs> You're right. It is, it is really neat. It does seem like a really special place. Living on a boat in the San Juan Islands. You said that already. Could you do it full time? I've told this to Billy before. I think I could do anything for one year. I could put my mind to it. I could think of things throughout the year to like keep me occupied and busy and looking forward towards the next thing that's happening in that year. You've asked me a few times like along the way in different places like like Hood River or I don't know where were some of the other spots like Michigan and like could you live here? And then we say, well, could we live here for a year? Even a, a year in some of those places are a stretch for me, I think. Just because I love being on and by the water. But here, I could live here for a year, for sure. Even you think? Yeah, you? yeah, because I don't think, I'm sure it gets cold and nasty, but nothing that could keep you out of the water with a six mil wetsuit. <laughs> Especially if we, we had a wood burning stove on our boat mm -hmm. or this diesel heater. I've probably asked Billy that question about 20 times this year. Could you stay here for a year? Could you stay here for a year? And he usually says, mm -hmm. I usually say yes. Maybe, let me correct that. In this general area, like, I think I'd have to get to the coast for some surf here and there. Like, go sail to Vancouver Island or other places like that. Our point it. is that this place must be really freaking cool for Billy to say that. <laughs> okay, so we didn't show you the exact act of cooking dinner tonight, as we did the past two nights, but back to life on a boat. Um, we 
have an oven and a three burner stove and that runs off propane and then we also have a super nice grill outside that also runs off propane next situation about life on a boat is taking a shower fun fact this is the nicest biggest on any of the boats that we've ever owned and we're super excited to own a shower like this. Gula didn't have a shower. Neverland didn't have a shower until the last month of our ownership. So we would stick the sink faucet out the window and shower outside. <laughs> Adrenaline had a shower. It's the kind that you like lift up out of the sink and have to like hold above your head, which worked fine, but there's nothing like having an actual shower head like this. Have to be very careful about water usage. Let's see where we are at today. That's our fuel. Water. Okay, so we are sitting at about 112 gallons, which is still a lot of water. But we started, I think, at 140. So we have used about 30 gallons. And what we normally do when we take a shower is we soap, shampoo, whatever, turn the shower off, lather, lather, lather. Turn it on, rinse it off really quick, turn it back off, get your conditioner on, turn it on, get it off, soap one last time, turn the water off, so you're just conserving as much as humanly possible. This boat does not have a water maker. Our boat will have a water maker because we have found that life with a water maker is just that much better. And we will probably get the exact same thing we had on Adrenaline because that water maker was perfect. Right now we're at 106 gallons, which means I only used about four gallons of water. <laughs> On the camper, I used way less than that because we just don't let it run that long, but I think that's still pretty good. Use four gallons? It seems like a lot. We usually don't use that much at all. Okay, yes, Billy's right. Four gallons is not a little bit. Okay, I splurged, but it was cold out. I wasn't calling you out on it. But it's saying. true. That's way more than we would normally yeah, use. Yeah, I'm just saying. Because you know why, though? We also have plenty of water on this boat. The tanks are 180 gallons or something. Four gallons. More than usual, but it was worth it. Because and acceptable. Thanks for calling me acceptable. Not you. Your water <laughs> usage is acceptable with our tank. Okay, next up. Bedtime routine. Okay, go shower so we can go to bed, please. All right, you want to film me in the shower for our other channel? If you guys want to see our other channel, just search Hulu's in the summer. Other channel. Okay, so most of the time, we just read our Kindle or... Billy will listen to podcasts and just fall asleep. But if we're feeling wild, we will pull out the computer or the iPad as our TV and our hard drive that is filled with movies and have a movie night. Some people may comment saying that it looks like this bed has very little headroom, which compared to a lot of cats it does, but it's definitely got more than what we're used to. And I think our boat might have a little bit more headroom than this. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Also, if you guys have not watched Black Sails, you definitely should. It's probably our very favorite movie series. We've probably watched it about eight times. The trick behind all of this is finding a spot to put the laptop where it's easy to watch. Movie night. If you have yet to subscribe, make sure you do so. We would very much appreciate it and I think you'll like what we post.